driveway it's a saturday night you look like a million bucks wearing that dress i like you're smiling but there's something missing in your eyes girl i can tell that you have something on your mind but i will make you forget all your sorrows let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes, I know you're all about the good vibes Do you know how much I love you, wanna see you smile Where's that happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? Okay, I'm off the phone. Sorry. Kaylee's been trying to get my attention. She wants me to watch Max. Oh, good boy. Good trick. Good trick. She wants me to watch you, huh? Huh? Why are you looking at me like that? What are you, what are you, what's that for? Hi, friends. We have Max as our guest today. Are you going to take your nap right there? Is that where you're gonna take your nap? Yeah, Kaylee's upstairs. He's totally pointing where she's at. Um, but Kaylee has to go to work, and so I'm on dog duty. She's gonna take him for a walk really quick, and then I will take him out to the backyard. It's about to rain, so I'm not gonna go out um, in like two hours. I'll let him out and back, and then Chelsea and Ashley will be home and they'll take care of him. And then we'll take you to Kaylee at her work. Okay, Max? Okay? He's totally like paying attention to me. But you're tired. Oh, you're tired. <laughs> okay. He's going to take a nap. I'm going to just keep working. Um, my friend called and it was just a really nice call. She was calling to see how I was feeling. I left after an hour of church yesterday. I was like, yep, I'm going home. <laughs> I didn't even end up taking a nap. Um, ended up packing a bunch with Jason, going through things and meet, meeting with his brother. Um, he finally gets to have his colonoscopy redone again for a second time. This is the one who got in the motorcycle accident. So he's finally on his last surgery for recovery. So that's really good news. He'll have that after we get back from our trip. So it was good to kind of talk to him and his daughter, uh, my niece, yesterday. And Jason's off getting his tire fixed again. Um, it's the valve, the pressure valve. Um, there's one gasket on it. That is broken <laughs> so uh, he's hoping he doesn't have to pay for a whole new like a whole new valve um, but he's off doing that at Tesla and then somehow when he reported or turned in all of our tax documents to our accountant she can't see any of the files on her Google Doc Drive or her private drive so he had to like re photocopy and we pull all the files out and has to FedEx it to her overnight. So he's going to be gone for a little bit. So I am just busy editing another video for Hawaii. Um, Hawaii prep, if you will. And um, just so you have, you know, I guess I've been teasing you with these, these videos. It is my packing video. So that should tell you something. We are getting close. Um, in fact, I'm going to mark today's video. What day is today? I'm not going to tell you what today's date is. We're too close. We're too close in time. <laughs> we're too current. Um, but we're getting close and it's getting fun. Um, I'm getting a little stressed trying to make sure we pack everything and have everything. So that's just kind of where we're at. But I cleaned out the fridge while I was talking to my friend. Because um, we're going to go to Costco as soon as Jason gets home. And we're buying the bare minimum. But I actually might buy something different today. I need to change um, and go on a new journey. <clears throat> my, I met with my endocrinologist. Um, I guess I haven't talked to you guys about this. I met with my endocrinologist on a virtual call the other day. Um, and of course, um, most of my numbers are fine. My thyroid, my, you know, a lot of my numbers are actually improving. But of course, my A1C is back to wackadoodle. 
and my doctor cannot prescribe me the medications for my injection medications um, because I'm not diabetic. And that's unfortunate because in order to not be diabetic, <laughs> you need these medications. Anyway, it's a really stupid way of insurance, um, not understanding the process. And so she is going to have me do a glucose test, a full panel like glucose test, go in, do the whole, you know, do a fast, take, get a blood draw, then take a drink of a glucose drink, like when you do when you're pregnant, and then do, wait two hours and come back and get another test, the whole shebang. I don't know if I'm going to have time to go and do that this week. I can just do it whenever I have time, but I just need to do it in the mornings, right, you know, like when I'm on a, a good 12-hour fast. Um, but by doing that, she's hoping that that will be enough of a trigger for insurance to say, oh, she really does need some extra help. She really is trying hard. She really needs some extra whatever. I know I'm not doing everything that I can, but my doctor literally could see in the record from when I'm taking that medication to when I'm not. And she's like, if your activity level didn't change that much from when you were doing the injection to when you weren't, she's like, it's the medication making the change, not you and your habits. And that's not the way we want it. You know, of course, you want, if you have improved habits, it should improve your numbers. But she's like, even if you had been walking every single day, I don't think you would have gotten the numbers. I think they would have been what they were. So she's hoping and praying that we can get back on that medication. So I'm just giving you an update. It's a little, I told her, she's like, are you weighing yourself? And I was like, no, I stopped because that's just going to get into my head. So I stopped doing that. All right. So you're taking him for a walk. Uh, he is really tired. Get him really, really tired, and then bring him back uh, so he'll sleep. Give this to him at 12. At 12? Yeah. Okay. This is Does he have a um, food bowl, water bowl out? Uh, I just packed it up because I just need to take it with me. But will he need like lunch while that's his, that's his lunch? Yeah. But go put a water bowl. I can get a water bowl yeah. out. You take him for a walk. Come here, Max. He came yesterday, come here, came last night with Kaylee, and I heard her come in the door, I was sitting right here, I heard her come in the door, and I heard her taking off her shoes, but then she didn't walk through the doorway over here, right? And I didn't, I knew Max was coming to the house, I knew he was, but all of a sudden he was at my arm, and I didn't, <laughs> he was here, and it, I screamed bloody murder and scared the, but. I scared him so bad. I felt awful. And so then he just walked into the kitchen and sat there waiting for Jason to get him ham. <laughs> and Jason was in the shower. So. All right, Max, you go for a walk. And then I'll help take care of you today, okay? Do you miss Kaylee already? Oh. No, come. <laughs> It's okay. She'll be back after work. I'll take you to her, okay? Come here. Come here. He'll whine for a minute and then we'll... Oh. Can you... Oh. Oh, he went up to Kaylee's room. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come here, Matt. Am I going to have to deal with this the whole time she's at work? Come here, Max. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Come here. It's been a little bit, and it's time for lunch. You stopped whining. You have been laying here on the cold floor. Huh. Do you want your lunch, or do you want to go out back? What? Oh, I love the little hood tilts. Do you want to go in the back? Look, Abby, open the door. Do you want to go in the back? I know you know what I'm saying. Which one's this head? I'm just showing the ball. Go. You want to eat it outside, or do you want to... Here you okay. go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're so 
such a dog. I'm gonna go and sit in the wet. We need to clean up out here. I know. As soon as I'm feeling better, he's just <laughs> such a weird dog. I don't know. Maybe I'm not used to dogs. I don't know if it's a weird thing or not. Eat your lunch outside. Oh my gosh, he's gonna be able to find all the little chunks that were. All right, someone came home. Yes. So I am chump change for this dog, right? And we don't have any H A M to give you. Otherwise, you'd be hanging out. Yep, see, he's... <laughs> okay, let me see what I can do. For, well, we're going to have to get... Uh, How about some PB? PB, yeah. Let's get you some PB. Do you want some peanut butter? Max? Do you want some peanut butter? Let's get you some peanut butter, Max. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Where'd he get it? Where'd he get it? Spoiled. This dog is spoiled. <laughs> We don't have any ham. I can say it now because he's not getting it. Jason's going to do dog duty. Are you going to go for a walk? It's just a day with a dog, huh? Yeah, Jason's going to take the, you. Where's the bag? It's attached to it. Okay, oh. I'm going to get my car ready. Oh, you're behind me, though. I'll have to switch. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we'll see where we go. I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax. All your problems will fade. If you're ready for a good time. <laughs> good boy. <laughs> Jason was having a hard time convincing him to not do his regular route. His regular route with his owners he has a quite set, long set a uh, little route and he just looks at you like why aren't like, we going it you think i'm going somewhere else what are you doing so i got the car and i came out to... <coughs> luckily he doesn't we're just right around the corner from our house so we're just gonna take him back home and leave him to wine with abby until she has to go to school but then chelsea will be home soon after so we are quietly sitting at the boat launch eating our costco hot dog after going to costco but these birds seem to think we've come clear from the water. Actually, they're not headed towards us anymore. But they were headed straight for us, like we were going to give them some lunch. It wouldn't surprise me if they thought that, but they are kind of going over there now. Well, maybe. <laughs> this is a little waddle in the... Okay, Max, you want to go see Kaylee? You want to go in the car? Go in the car? Let's go. Yeah, we're gonna go see Kaylee, and then we're gonna go take you home, okay? Yeah, you wanna get your bag? We'll get your stuff. We're gonna put it in the bag. Okay. We're gonna go in the car, okay? Okay, come on. Chelsea's here. She's gonna come in the car with us. Come on. Come on. Promise, we're gonna go in the. Ash, coming. Are you coming? Yeah. Come on, let's go. Okay, let's go. Here, can you hear that? Come on, Max. We're gonna go. Bye bye. He's like, I don't believe you guys. Here, I've got a towel. Let's put this on the seat. Ashley, wait for the towel. Chelsea, wait for the towel, please. You sit. Up. Boy. Good boy. No, sit. Max, sit down. Sit down. Here. Sit down. There you go. Ashley's got to sit down on the other side, okay? Good job. Do you know where we are, bud? Do you know where we are? He recognized I can't show you guys where we are, and I feel like crap. I took a nap with Jason, and I feel worse than before my nap. So we were supposed to bring the dog to come see Kaylee at, at work, her work when she got off work and then she was going to take Max to Jacob's house for a few hours before their owners got home. So her friend goes to school at UW and so he doesn't live at home right now even though it's just on the other side of Seattle. Yeah. But his parents um, are out of town and so that's why we would have the dog. Well the parents decided to come back early or they're going to be back early. And they want the dog back. They want Max back sooner than Kaylee expected him to need to go home. And so I was like, okay, then I'll just take him home. 
it's not a big deal. They live around the corner from us. And Kaylee was like, oh, but then I won't get to see him. Huh, Max? You didn't get to see Kaylee before she got done with work. And so. And the manager wants to see you. And the man her, Kaylee's manager. So we can't take you guys in to see because then you'll know, we'll know where Kaylee works. But. <laughs> Come on. We are going to take him Why in to go so see tight? Kaylee. So and then I am going to take him all the way back home because I'm a good mom. <laughs> and take him back to his owner's. Oh my gosh. Uh, so, oh, I shouldn't have taken that nap. I feel worse. I have a headache now. I should have, I don't know. Stop. I don't know what I should have done. Out. I'm going to go home and take some me medicine. Jason's going to go work out with a friend. He always just does that. Not Max. I really don't. Oh! <laughs> I can't. Ashley, come here. You need come to here. move. I'm not fitting for back here. Okay, Chelsea, come to the front. Just come to the side door. You'll be able to get it on him. <laughs> He's not a flight risk. He won't jump out of the car. Ow. Just do it from right there. It's so hard. No, it's not. You're yeah, fine. Because then he pushes himself against. You're fine. Now we're back in the car with Kaylee. But he doesn't understand. She's not coming with us. Is Kaylee coming with us? Nope. I don't think he realizes yet. Oh. Oh, he started. He's like, one, two. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Max. Oh, she's right there. Hi. Yep, now he's like, wait, what? Did you see Kaylee now? <laughs> he doesn't care about us in no, the car at all. At me. No, he's looking at Kaylee. No, don't take it off. We're literally about to go and drop him off. Yep. Leave, it, leave the leash on. 